Did Expo 53 break push notifications? That's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about how do push notifications work now with Expo 53? Do they not work in Expo Go anymore? Do you have to build a development build in order to get push notifications to work? How do you do that? But first, I want to take 15 seconds to tell you about Native Notify's new AI generated push notifications. I'll talk about this more in a future video, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to learn more about this. But if you go to nativenotify.com, log in or create a free account. And now if you come over here to the AI push icon, you can schedule AI generated push notifications to be sent to your users now. And I've actually been having some fun with this. I'm going to show this in a future video, but I told uh, the AI generated push notifications to be a sarcastic AI agent that makes Expo developers feel terrible about themselves. Basically like they're never going to learn Expo just stop trying. It's pretty funny. I'll show that in another video, what the AI generated. Uh, it kind of hurt my feelings. I'll be honest. Okay. So that's coming up in an, a future video. But again, if you'd like to just try it out again, it's free to sign up, test out sending funny push notifications to yourself. See what the AI generates. Now onto the question, did Expo 53 break push notifications? I'm just going to create a new Expo app using Expo 53. And there are some major differences now with Expo 53. Okay, so this is a brand new Expo 53 app that I just created. I'm going to go to nativenotify.com real fast. I'm going to create a new app. I'll name it Expo 53. I'm going to add push notifications in real fast just so you can see the new error messages that appear. All you have to do is install these things, run this command, import this function in the index file or the app.js file and import this register in and push token. Your app ID and app token will already be in there for you. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and test out push notifications. A big thing to remember with push notifications is they only work on a physical device. I'm going to go ahead and test it out using Expo Go to show you what happens with Expo Go now. And actually, we don't really need this uh, simulator because, again, it won't work on a simulator. You have to use an actual phone. So I'll just get rid of that. OK, so first I have my Android phone here. I'm going to go ahead and scan uh, using the Expo Go app this barcode here to show you what shows. And if you see this error here, when you try to open up your app, it means you need to go to the app store and uh, upgrade your Expo Go app because it is a significantly new app version with Expo 53. You need the most up-to-date version of Expo. Okay, so now that mine is upgraded again, I'm going to go ahead and scan the barcode again. Okay, and so now that it is open on my phone, uh, you'll notice there's this new error with uh, Expo 53. It says Android push notifications, remote notifications, functionality provided by Expo notifications was removed from Expo Go with the release of SDK 53. Use a development build instead of Expo Go. The big thing to notice here is that this only applies to Android specifically. So if you open up your phone on an iOS phone, which I'll do in a moment, this error should not appear. There's also this soft warning expo notifications functionality is not fully supported in expo go the native notify package under the hood also uses expo notifications so this actually still applies to ios as well so the best possible thing to do is to build a development build instead of using expo go when testing out your apps which is surprisingly easy to do i made a video about it i'll link to it in the description below. I highly encourage you to watch that video, learn how to build an, a development build. It's super easy. It's not complicated at all. However, I found that iOS push notifications, it's still easy to test with Expo Go. If you don't want to build a development build with iOS specifically, you don't really have to when you're testing. It's still a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and scan this on my iOS phone. And as you can see, the red warning has gone away. This red warning was for the Android, but for iOS specifically, it goes back to a soft warning, at least for now. Oh, and I forgot to mention with the setting up of the push notifications, after you do this, you actually need to run EAS in it 
If you haven't already, before you run NPX Expo Start, this guarantees that you'll have a project ID. You need a project ID inside of your app for push notifications to work. So I'm gonna run that really fast to get push notifications working. All right, so now I'm gonna try uh, running NPX Expo Start again and try opening up the app again on my iPhone. All right, and now you can see it says you can now send a push notification. You successfully registered your native notify push token. And so now I'll actually go ahead and test out uh, AI push notifications just to show you guys what it's like. Uh, again, I'll make another video about this soon so i'm gonna change it to a little bit into the future i'll just give it some descriptions and instructions i'll say the name of my app is dad jokes uh there's some specific instructions for the ai i'll say create new dad jokes to send as push notifications then you give some example push notifications and then click schedule. I'll just look up some good dad jokes. All right, 300 best dad jokes. These have to be good. Okay, here's a good one. What kind of shoes do frogs wear? That title is a little long. Maybe I'll just say, what shoes do frogs wear? Open toed sandals. This one's funny. What's a shark's favorite saying? Man overboard like that one and here's another one why do melons have weddings they can't elope all right so i'll schedule this for a couple minutes into the future and come back to you with the push notification all right so this is my phone a push notification should appear soon okay and so there there it is this is what it, it sent me it said why did the scarecrow win an award because he was outstanding in his field it's right there, which is pretty funny, okay? And so as you can see, push notifications haven't really broken for Expo Go with iOS. They are completely broken for Android, however, so you do need to build a development build for Android. And it's probably also a good idea just to go ahead and get in the habit of building a development build for iOS too. As you're developing your app going forward, more and more over time, the Expo Go app is losing some functionality. Expo is really trying to push everyone toward development builds. Again, if you're not sure how to do that, it's not very complicated. You can watch the video I link in the description below on how to do that. And if you want to have some fun experimenting with native notify AI generated push notifications, it's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. And you can send an unlimited amount of AI generated push notifications for free. And again, you can use native notify AI push notifications with your current service. You don't have to switch to native notify to start using AI notifications. Just add it to whatever you're currently using. Comment below to let us know what you think about the new Expo 53 SDK. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.